Okay. Hello, everyone. I just started the stream. And I hope everyone can hear me. If you can hear me well, just let me know in the comments. So welcome to tonight's live stream. Of course, I do live streams every night. I'm trying to. I don't know how long I can do this for, but uh, this week and maybe next week, it should be every night. Uh, if you are new here, welcome to this channel and this live stream. My name is Robin Shaw, and I am an English teacher. Uh, excuse me. I'm a Canadian teacher, but actually I live and work in Korea. So I've been here about 20 years teaching English, and I also have uh, another YouTube site uh, you can see next to my head my other YouTube site and ways to contact me. So anyway, welcome everyone. And I'm just usually before I start, I just check the chat room to see who's here. And uh, I, I think I have some very loyal students, especially uh, Layla, uh, Florin, Prakar. You guys are always here. I can see uh, Shakir Afridi and Abdul Montalib. Diallo is back. Rain Music. Is that your name? Than Than Nui. Oh, yeah, you're back. And Omani, you're back. I can see Belajar Cantonis. Uh, I chatted with you before. Celine is here. So we got lots of people here. Uh, I can see. All right, that's good. So as I have on my schedule, I'll just pull up the schedule here. As you can see, I'm doing a live stream every night. And you can see on my schedule that tonight, Thursday, well, it's nighttime here in Korea. I don't know what time it is for you. Uh, we're doing pronunciation. And that's going to be today's topic, pronunciation. So if you're interested in English pronunciation, this is a very, very important video. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a topic discussion. Uh, I don't know the topic yet, sorry. It's the first time doing that, so i got to prepare. Saturday is games. I'm going to try some games. Uh, and then Sunday is another lesson. And then next week, I might repeat the same schedule. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so... Uh, I don't expect everyone here to come every day, but you should drop in from time to time to learn uh, topics that are interesting to you, all right? And again, the best way to contact me uh, is all these links. There's all kinds of ways to contact me. It's very easy to contact me. It's very easy to talk to me, uh, especially in WhatsApp. Most of the people here I probably met in WhatsApp. I also use HelloTalk and other apps and, of course, Facebook. Feel free to come say hi or talk to me in one of those apps. And the usual structure. I always begin uh, my uh, live streams with an introduction. This is kind of the introduction. And uh, the introduction is actually code for waiting for late people. <laughs> so probably uh, maybe about two, three, four minutes. I'm just talking about the topics, my schedule, and then waiting for the late people as the late people come. And then, then I'll do the topic. And the topic, I, I usually shoot for about um, 30 minutes for the topic. Tonight might be a little more. And then after the topic is question and answer. So if you got any English questions, I will try. I don't promise. I will try to answer your English questions. I usually ignore complicated questions, as most of you know. If it gets a little too complicated or it's a little bit too much time to explain, I don't answer that question. I like to do the easy questions. So I look smarter. All right. Uh, I'm just checking who's in the chat. Grace is here. Welcome, Grace. Ahmed Suleiman. Hi, mister. Hello, Ahmed. 
And uh, if, oh, Susanna's here. Okay, she's going to work. You can watch the videos later. And there's a lot of people watching that are not in the chat room. If you want to participate, you have to log into YouTube to join the chat. And that's where I do, I interact with the people in the chat room. Okay, so let's get started. I see Florian has already started talking about tonight's topic. Uh, I understand he doesn't like the introduction part of my videos. That's okay. And what does Florin say? He says the schwa sound is easy to pronounce. He is correct. It is very easy to pronounce. In fact, uh, it's in a lot of languages. Um, the schwa sound is very common. And Florence said schwa sound like ah in a car. Car, uh, a car. Oh yeah. Okay, the first A. A car. <laughs> uh, that's possible. Uh, we'll talk about that today. Let's see. Oh, Rainy changed her name. Rainy Lynn. Instead of Rain Music, Rainy Lynn. Okay, welcome, Rainy Lynn. Welcome. Okay, so the schwa. Schwa, it has, a, it has a, a very unique name, Schwa, and you can see the IPA symbol there. Now, the IPA symbol, you don't have to know IPA. When I say IPA, I'm talking about the International Phonetic Alphabet. You don't have to know that. Uh, for today's video, but I use that a lot in today's uh, video. So the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, uh, will help you to understand the schwa and what's going on. Okay, and you'll see that. And Floron IPA has... It has a little more than 100 letters. Uh, I never counted them, but yeah, there's these are all the English sounds. Uh, you know, one letter in English can have many kinds of sounds. All right, the schwa. So yeah, as I said, the IPA, that's the symbol in blue. And the sound of the schwa is uh, uh, uh. Uh, so I think uh, most of you already know how to make that sound. Uh, it's the most common vowel sound in uh, in English. Uh, maybe the world. I don't know about that, uh, but I know in English. And what what you need to know, it's unstressed. Now, what does what does that mean? Unstressed. Uh, you're not putting a lot of power into this sound. Uh, it's a very weak sound, so when you, uh, so, you know, pronunciation is all, always physical. When you're saying the sound, as I put there, you got to relax everything. You relax it all here, and it's just, uh, uh. You can see there's, I'm not making any movement, and it's, uh, uh. That is the sound. Okay, and it's really fast. When we put it in sentences, it's really fast, really weak, very difficult to hear. Uh, but you got to know it, guys. It's so common. And uh, Florence says, uh, I found schwa sound until now in Romanian, English, and German languages. So based on uh, Latin, Latin languages, I guess. Uh, again, I would... I, I don't know uh, every language, but I'm going to believe you, Florin, that those are in those languages. Okay, let's continue. So it is a sound that it can be used for every vowel. So when, you, uh, when you're reading words and you see different kinds of vowels, uh, you can use this sound to substi sub substitute that vowel. So in number one, we have uh, the vowel A. 
Now, A has many sounds, all right? And one of those sounds could be the schwa sound. So listen to me when I say amazing. Uh, I'll, I'll try to do it slow. Doing it slow is very unnatural. Uh, the proper way to listen would be in full sentences, but I'll do it really slow. Uh, amazing. Uh, amazing. Amazing. All right. So you can see the schwa uh, can be the A. Not always. A has many sounds, but you got to be careful. And it's a pronunciation video, so I hope you guys are trying to repeat after me when I say these words. You know, it's a pronunciation video. You should practice after me. Two, what is this word? Well, you can see the blue is the, uh, the E. So in the first one, it's A. Number two is E. And sometimes E is the, is the schwa sound. And we know T-E is going to be T. So this is tenacious. Tenacious. All right? Tenacious. And then number three here, it's the I. So sometimes the I can make the schwa sound. And you can see our repli, replicate, 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 replicate. And number four, sometimes the O makes the schwa sound. So remember, these vowels, uh, A, E, I, O, they have many sounds, just sometimes uh, native speakers when they're speaking, instead of using the, the usual sounds for those letters, we make the schwa sound. So this one is percolate, 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 percolate. And what does percolate mean? Check the dictionary. I'm not teaching vocabulary in this uh, video, sorry. If you don't know these words, you got to check the dictionary. And you, sometimes you has the schwa sound, so supply, su, su, ply, supply. And the Y, so Y is sometimes a vowel, the vowel sound. And in this case, uh, we have syringe, syringe. Okay, so when you're studying the schwa sound, or you're listening for the schwa sound, uh, it, it's a common sound, but don't be looking for, in, when you're writing a word, don't be looking for a vowel. Oh, this is the schwa sound. No, that's not how you find the schwa sound. Yeah, Florin, A, E, I, O, and U are the main vowels, and Y can have a, a vowel sound. Okay, so it can be every vowel. So I'll just repeat those words very quick. You should repeat after me. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, tenacious. Tenacious. Replicate. Replicate. Percolate. Percolate. Supply. Supply. Syringe. Syringe. Okay. Uh, Florence says, but why is a vowel and consonant? Why is a vowel? Oh, no. So why is a consonant, but it can act as a, a vowel because it sometimes makes a vowel sound. You can see in number six, uh, I have syringe. The Y there is acting as a vowel, but it's making the vowel sound. And another in interesting, 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 that's our word, another interesting thing about the schwa is uh, schwa deletion, uh, which means that native speakers, because the schwa is so weak, it's so small, so weak sound, that very often a native speaker will just cut it from the word and you can see in this word the first e 
is often cut, all right? So uh, native speakers don't usually say uh, interesting. You can say that, but we might say uh, to be fast, you know, in language, you always want to speak fast, interesting. So I'm cutting out the schwa sound in this word, interesting. I'm not saying interesting, I'm saying interesting. So that's called schwa deletion, and I recommend, uh, it's not on every word, okay, it's only on uh, specific, specific words, and there are rules, but we can cut out the schwa. So everyone repeat after me, interesting. Don't, don't say interest, interesting, interest, inter, I can't even say it slow. Interesting, interesting, say interesting, interesting. That is very interesting. The next one, we have uh, two schwas, and we can cut them both. So we don't want, we, we don't want to say uh, diff, different, different, we want to say different different okay so everyone practice after me different different all right we're cutting out those schwas and here's another one fam family family you know that's okay but the native speaker when we're speaking fast we're going to say family family okay we're, we're not going to use family Family. We're going to say family. Number four here. Camera. 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 No, no. Native speaker is going to cut that when they're, when they're speaking really fast. And they're just going to say camera. Everyone. Camera. Camera. I, I like to take photos with my camera. And number five here is another example of the schwa that might that will probably be cut out. So button, button, uh, we you know native speaker button, button. I have three buttons on my shirt, three buttons. Okay, so schwa deletion. One more time, all of these words. Interesting, different, family, camera, button. Schwa deletion. A camera, a camera has buttons. Yep, that's a good example, Florin. All right, so for the... Sometimes with the schwa, <laughs> uh, this is going to be uh, frustrating for people trying to learn English. Sometimes the native speakers, we, the, the spelling, the spelling of the word and the IPA spelling of the word uh, does not have a, a certain schwa sound. But when we say the word, we might put in the schwa sound. What am I talking about? Well... The first word there, uh, realtor, and the IPA is a realtor, but the extra, sometimes, not everyone, but a lot of people when they're speaking, they'll say realtor, 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 when, um, so that's an extra schwa. They're putting it in there, but really the spelling in the IPA doesn't include it, but in the speaking, they're going to put it in there. Today, I have to visit the realtor. Let's go to another one. Now, this, this is athlete, number two. Ath, athlete, but... Some native speakers, of course, we're going to put in a schwa. We, we shouldn't be doing that, but we do. And we say athlete, 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 athlete. 
So you can hear some people say athlete, but sometimes you're going to hear a native speaker put in that extra schwa in these words. Not all words, just these specific words. And here's one that caused me uh, confusion growing up because I always heard people put in the extra schwa. So I was always confused about the spelling of the word. Okay. So you can see uh, this is nuclear and the IPA nuclear. And the uh, extra is going to be nuclear, nuclear, nuclear. Nuclear. They're, they're putting in the extra schwa there. Film. Film. And with the schwa, some people film. I like to watch many films. They're going to put in a schwa right there. And remember, the schwa is very weak. Okay, it's never strong. It's unstressed. And this was an, this was an interesting one I saw. Uh, we see crazy, she's crazy, crazy, but sometimes when people are, you know, uh, you know, exaggerating the word, like if I said, she's crazy, I put in the schwa, the schwa there, she's crazy, crazy. Crazy. I'm not saying she's crazy. She's crazy to emphasize the word. So sometimes when we're emphasizing or exaggerating a word, we put in a schwa. So the extra schwa. Some words are going to have that extra schwa. Okay. And let's just practice some more words. So this one, again, everyone repeat after me. Again, and we have cele celebrate, everyone, celebrate, celebrate, excuse me. Now we have president, but we see the IPA that this can be deleted. This can be a deleted sh schwa sound. So I, I, the way I pronounce it is president, president, which is probably the deletion. Pres, president, president, uh, I, don't, I, I don't hear that pronunciation, president. Same with uh, condition. Uh, the schwa can be deleted, condition. Condition. Campus, campus, and support, support. So again, celebrate, president, condition, campus, support. All right. Now, again, this is how I pronounce these words. If you go around the world in different regions where they speak English, the pronunciation might be a little different, all right? So I'm a Canadian, but I do not represent all Canadians because Canada is a big country and the dialect can be, or the, the pronunciation of certain vowels and words will be different. All right, that is the schwa. I, I went through that really quick because it's not too much. It's an easy sound. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes we add schwas, sometimes we delete schwas. But what you need to know is it's a very important sound in the English language. And when you're listening, uh, you're, you, you're always hearing the schwa in almost every sentence any native speaker says. Uh, that's the schwa. All right, we're going to move into question time now. So you can ask questions uh, about pronunciation, the schwa. Uh, you can also go into other English questions if you have them. But I, I have rules here. This is what you guys got to do. 
Uh, number one, please use question marks. It's very confusing when people write a question and they don't have a question mark because sometimes they don't know if it's a question. And if you can, provide example sentences. So very. if you add a, example sentences, I can understand more and help you more of to understand your uh, question exactly. And try and have good grammar and spelling. Uh, this is also something that causes me confusion if you have the wrong spelling of a word or the grammar is, I don't understand. I can't really help you. So I, I want to help everyone with the questions. Uh, the Following these three uh, rules uh, will help me. So if you have any questions, start uh, typing them on your phone. Are you watching by phone or PC? That's my question. I'm going to write it here. Are you watching by phone or computer? Let me know. All right, so I'm checking the chat room now to see if there's any questions. Prakar, dynamics voice are important in English pronunciation or not? Okay, Prakar, what do you mean by dynamic voice? Like uh, loud or a lot of uh, intonation? And again, it would depend on the region. Uh, my voice is not so dynamic. Uh, I don't think so. And Florence says, I heard the schwa sound in the word question. Un, un, question, un. Yep. And Grace is asking a vocabulary question. Is it different between broker and realtor? Realtor. Am I saying the schwa? Realtor. I'm not saying the schwa. Realtor. Uh, I don't know exactly, Grace. Broker. I, realtor is a better word if you're talking about housing because it's called real estate. Housing or property. Property. Real estate. Realtor. Re, I use the schwa. Realtor, uh, broker can be, I think, a name, but realtor is a better, better, uh, better word. Omani, by phone. What is that, Omani? Oh, sorry, you're answering my question. By phone, the mobile phone. Good. And Diallo, using my tablet, sometimes phone, sometimes PC. By computer, I'm watching by phone. Yeah, I think most, well, it might be 50-50, computer and phone. I must look very small on your phones. And maybe you it's difficult to see my writing on the board. Okay, guys, any questions? Get them in. You know what to do. Start typing your questions. Okay, Florence watching by computer. Schwa. Schwa. Dama. Hello, Mr. Robin. Call me Robin. I'm watching my phone. Okay, good. Good, good. I don't care if you're watching tablet, PC, or phone. All right, Grace is asking an English question. Thank you, Grace. You know what to do in this part of the live stream. And she says, I want to I wanna know English natives speak fighting. Okay, so Grace is Korean, and she's talking about the Konglish word, fighting. And uh, so the Korean English word, Konglish is Korean English. So in Korea, they make these words. They sound like English, but actually they're not English. And fighting is a good example because this is, this is an English word, but how Koreans use it is completely different than how 
the English native speakers use it. And there is no exact translation for fighting, but it can be uh, cheer up or have some strength. Uh, I've seen it used as good luck sometimes. So it can have multiple meanings. There's no direct translation of fighting. Do I say fighting? Never. Uh, I speak English and fighting is Conglish and I don't, I don't speak Conglish. And uh, Layla is asking a pronunciation question. Good for Layla to ask the pronunciation question on our pronunciation day. And Layla is asking, I am confused about how to pronounce these words, won't and want. Can you pronounce them? Yeah, these are very difficult words uh, to pronounce for students uh, all around the world won't and want. Uh, there, the two difficult parts is the W sound, okay? Uh, when I talk to students around the world, a lot of uh, countries, uh, they have div uh, difficulty pronouncing the W sound, wuh, wuh, wuh. Remember, pronunciation is a physical problem, so always watch my mouth and my lips and how I'm pronouncing, wuh, wuh. And the second problem there is the vowel sound, aw. So, uh, well, let's start with won't, o, wo. You need to combine the w and the o into a wo, wo, wo. You can see how I'm forming my mouth, wo, won't, won't. And then the want, want. You can see my mouth movement is a little bit different. Wa, want, won't, want, won't, want. So let's, let's try to get a sentence. Uh, I won't go. I won't go. I won't go. And the want, I want to go. I want to go. Okay, now it's difficult because I cannot hear you, Layla, but if you want, you can join the WhatsApp group later and try to say those words, and I can help you there. Anna Gui. Hello, blessings, Robin. Robin. Hello, thank you, Anna Gui, for joining Florin, are there rules when to add the schwa sound? Uh, when to add? There's only a few words that people add. Are you talking about the extra schwa sound? The extra when we add, there's only a few words. Like the words I showed are, you know, basically most of the words to add. I don't know all the words to add where people add the schwa sound. But I don't think there's a specific rule. Just you know the words. Twilly. Hi. Good evening. Welcome, Twilly. And foreign Conglish is about using false friends. Yeah. Between English and Korean. Yeah. Every language has that. Oh, and I know the other person. Welcome. Not... All right. Florin, is it using grace? My friend told me pronunciation is too rolling. Oh, my pronunciation is too rolling. How can I fix it? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by uh, rolling. Too rolling. What does that mean, Grace? I'm, I'm getting uh, some error problem with the video live stream. 
I think maybe you guys are not getting smooth live stream now. Sorry about that. Yeah, rolling sounds like a Konglish term too, Florin, I would guess. Florin's expert at finding Kong Konglish. Okay, any other questions? Grace, what do you mean by rolling? Uh, Grace, I met you, I talked to you. I didn't think your, uh, your pronunciation was a problem. You're r rolling, rolling, rolling like that. That's called a rolling tongue. R rolling. You didn't do that. Uh, Grace, there was nothing wrong with your your pronunciation. Who told you that? Oh, uh, you said you'll give more explanation about how to pronounce these words, wander and wonder. So, Layla, also those are uh, W words, W vowel, vowel, v vowel. so uh, I can see, Layla, the, you need to practice the W vowel combination the sounds so wa wa again look at my mouth wa wander wander same as want wander and wonder wa wa wonder just checking Wander, wonder, wander, wonder, won't, want. Grace, my sister. Uh, uh, that's your sister. She's always going to tease you and bother you. All right. So the meaning, uh, wondering... Wonder is uh, thinking, and I was wondering, uh, if you use the sentence, I was wondering, you don't have to say with myself, because you already have I, I was wondering, so you can cut with myself, you don't need that, Layla, just, I was wondering uh, when my package will arrive, today or tomorrow, I'm just wondering. Uh, you can say I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, but wondering is, I was wondering, and then what are you wondering about? All right, any, any other questions? Get your questions in, guys. I'm a tool. You got a tool here. You got something you want to talk about or you got questions. This is the time because you guys are studying English every day, right? You must have a lot of questions every day. Where are they? Florian, what are you talking about? German? What is, I don't speak German. Nobody speaks German here, Florian. I got to translate. Oops, what did Florence say? Oh, I didn't get it. I have a question. Well, that's good, Florence. Let's hear your question. That's why I'm here. Oh, Amani has, in Saturday, on Saturday, we should use on Saturday, you have games in live stream, right? Yep, I'm going to try. What games are you playing with us? Amani... Uh, I don't even know tomorrow's topic, so I haven't planned uh, the games, but I'll think about it. I'll do some testing. You know, it's it's really hard to do live games, so I got to choose games that are easy and people can uh, learn from in English. So, Omani, I'll try that Saturday. I don't have any information right now. Sorry. 
Grace, I am back home in California, and this sentence is be back home used as a hometown. And why didn't you put the came uh, back verb there? All right. Uh, just usually, yeah, back home is going to be... That's a complicated question because... Uh, It could, I, I would guess the hometown, but it could just mean California is my home state. Uh, so it could be hometown or the home state. And I, I am back home. And uh, if you're using, I came back home, uh, I am back home, you are there. You're just telling the information that you are there. I came back home means you're trying to tell the information of moving back home. So you can say I'm back home, I came back home. They mean a little different, they're a little bit different information you're trying to tell someone. Florin, is it about schwa sound between consonant? Uh, yes. But you're not going to find a rule about that. It's, it's going to be on very specific words. Uh, you can research that. If you, if you do find some rule, uh, you can tell me. But as far as I know, it's just on a few words. Okay, Grace. Back can be noun, adjective, adverb verb, preposition. So in that example case, what part of speech is uh, is issued back? Oh, Grace. I'm not an expert on the back home. I have to go to the better teacher uh, Google and that Google doesn't help uh, so I'm gonna say that the it is a adverb to the I am am back so it's uh, referring to the am I am back home so my guess is that's the adverb Prakar, network problem. Yeah, I think we have a network problem tonight. Sorry. So I guess we'll try to finish up the live stream a little bit quicker because uh, my end is showing network problem, and I think you guys are experiencing network problem. And Flora, do you have an example when we don't add schwa between consonants? The examples I gave in the earlier were the exceptions, but Florin, you just, uh, I don't know the rule you're, at, you're looking for. A lot of words don't have the schwa between consonants. Layla, how to pronounce this? Doubt? Because the B is silent. I have doubt. Doubt. You don't want to say that B, Layla. Doubt. Doubt. Omani, thank you for the. All right. Twilly, you're asking the ED sound either to sound it or not. Give me an example sentence. What, what do you mean the ED? Which word? Florin, you don't have to go to the better teacher, Robin. Just go to a teacher that knows what you don't know. Well, where is that teacher, Florin? Are you, are you that teacher? Okay, guys, we'll we'll finish up the live stream soon. So, any last questions? Get them in now.
Anagui, could you please talk about unused idioms nowadays? Well, honestly, Anagui, when I see in WhatsApp and Facebook and Instagram, students love, love to share slang and idioms. And when I see these idioms, uh, you know, it's like nobody uses, you know, most of these idioms. Well, at least people around me uh, don't use a lot of idioms. Uh, so it depends on the idiom. There's thousands and thousands of idioms. Uh, do you have an example idiom, Anagui? And then I can tell you that if it's, if it's common or just not used anymore. So uh, I don't really like students teaching students. I don't like that. So I see it a lot in WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. Students teaching students because they're teaching stuff, a lot of stuff that's useless. Uh, but, you know, it's better than nothing, right? Student is better than nothing. But, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. Uncommon or not popular uh, idioms. Uh, yeah, just give me an example. Okay, I don't see... Uh, I don't see any questions, guys. It might be because the uh, I'll uh, I'll wrap up this live stream. I'll end it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the WhatsApp or Facebook or wherever. You can find the links below. Uh, we talked about schwa today, English pronunciation video. I'll do a pronunciation video or pronunciation live stream every week. So next week I'll have a different topic for pronunciation. Uh, I hope this video helped you with your pronunciation or you learned something today. And uh, tomorrow is a topic discussion, so uh, we'll see how that goes tomorrow because I've never done that before. We'll see if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So I hope you join tomorrow and participate and help to make that uh, a good live stream. And I'm getting in the last comments in the, the chat here. Oh, Layla asks, what's the difference between he's dead and he passed away? Uh, passed away, we call it euphemism. Euphemism means a polite way to say another word. So words like dead, that's kind of a bad word and very direct. So uh, in English, we use passed away, which is a very polite way to say he's dead. Uh, Florence... In Germany, idiom from nothing come nothing. Uh, I don't know what's the meaning of that idiom. Grace, I came back home early because I'm in Robin's cult. Thank you. I came back home earlier because I'm in. I'm in. I'm in your cult. Okay. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow or later in the WhatsApp. You check the, join my WhatsApp uh, groups. All right, good night, and have a good day, good day, everyone.